Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Headless Prisoner. Headless Prisoner is a horror game that involves a girl being locked up in a mysterious prison full of killer ghosts. That pretty much sums it all up. A long time ago, the sentence of decapitation was too violent a punishment. <sighs> When the head was cut, all the grudge was sent to the body that made the body walk by its own. Where am I? You're in a death trap. That's where you are. See? There. Mysterious stool in the middle of a hallway. Is someone there? You were able to sense my presence. My plan was murdering you, but I changed my mind. I'll let you live. You are going to... kill me? I sense strong evil signs in this prison. That's why I won't need to kill you. So you won't kill me because someone else will kill me? I hypothesize that thanks to your power to sense evil, you'll be able to survive. Sense the evil? What if there's some twist in the end where I am the evil. And what she's sensing all along was me. Cell number one. Nothing in here. These bodies aren't human. They are the headless prisoners' bodies. What are we doing? I had enough of this. And a zombie ghost. See some notes? There's no forgiveness for the prisoners incarcerated in the basement. That's the rule. Despite of what it said about the interrogation and the torture tamger, I'm more scared of the executioner. How can he torture so much and keep so calm? Maybe he enjoys it. Finds it romantic. The torturing. This one's destroyed. Are... Are you okay? Oh, a key. Well, uh, I'm sure you're doing fine. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. Don't really want to hang around. Is this smell blood? Some words saying be careful in the corner. Where? <laughs> ah! It's... damn you're huge. What? Turns out people without heads can't see too well. He's in prison. He has... No... Head. A very... <laughs> Uh, very straight to the point title. So what are we gonna name the game? Well, what's it about? Oh, uh, there's like a headless prisoner that wanders about or something. 
Oh no, let's just call her this prisoner and be done with it. Let's see, you came out of here. Boxes. Take this book. You took the green book. Now you're forever locked into the bad end. See a locked door. Dead end. Only one way to go. All right. Look, it's Shulk. Who is he? A girl. Why is a girl alone in a place like this? It's dangerous. When I woke up, I was already here. So why is a guy like you in a place like this? You know, while we're on the same subject. When you woke up. That's a problem. There are too many monsters here. I can't leave a girl alone. Okay. Then I'll go with you. The power of the Monando will protect us. Huh? I know we don't know each other. But anyway, it's bad that a girl walks by herself here. Maybe it's bad because there's ghosts everywhere. But you're a stranger. And also suspicious. Huh? Hey, come on. Look directly at my eyes. They're completely soulless. How is it? I don't know, you just closed them. Okay. Great. Now let's get out of here, princess. The character's just angry throughout the entire thing. There's, there's ghosts going around and you're doing this shit. I, I was just joking. I'm Kenji. Who are you? I mean, what's your name? I'm... I'm Arena. Oh, Marina, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. It's joke time. So, someone saw a shooting star and they wish not to pee on the bed anymore. That's a, that's a book that belongs in a prison. It's good, you know, prison reading material. What was that? I saw something move. Oh, it's a rat. The Red Witch. So we met the Red Witch earlier. Uh, she's dead now, a ghost. Foggy Prison, which is probably where we are right now. The purest of hearts can only play piano. This looks like could be a puzzle. Possibly. Let's see bends. It seems the bed moved. Did you do that? I didn't even see it. I I I guess it did move. A book. The red book. Ghost. And he's got an awful mohawk. How out of style. Basement one. Let's come back here later. Okay, we need a blue book, a red book, and a green book. One book. Ah, ah, ah. Two book. Locked. Well, I want to eat cake, yo. Well, what can we lose? 
Yeah, Shulk, you go be the cake. Spooky. Kitchen. <laughs> the whole place is populated by skeletons. If someone's hungry, he'll eat his favorite food. Well, thank you for informing me. Take it or leave it. They wanted to eat cake. Let's bring it something wrong on purpose. You need some fruits and veggies. This will help the bone growth. Fruits baskets. Fruits? What is this? Why? You? I can't believe it. Are you deaf? I said cake, and you bring me healthy snacks? Can't you do something this simple? Hell no. I'd be very happy if I could get a fruits cake, to be honest. However, I bit one of these fruits. They taste horrible. I also have no taste buds. I'm a skeleton. Seriously, you can't even do that! Damn it. Why is it taking so long? I said cake! Did you hear it? This looks like a bad joke. Are you taking this seriously? This seems like a joke. I've done saying all the time. What do I have to do it? What do I have to pay for you for? Who knows? Maybe if you go to the right place, this will be like anything new. Her work gives children's ruling time with babies even worse. I'm angry. I'll kill you. Fireworks. All right, we brought you cake this time. Watching me not satisfied. This cake's frosting is awful. It seems the evil presence disappeared. Thank you, meow. He's such a shy guy. Huh? Oh, maybe if I went up, I would have killed me. I see why I had to do that now. Uh, yeah, sure, it looks like a headless guy. That seems fun. Well, let's get this over with. They're very slow. Run, Shulk! How do we avoid things? Is this like Gaoni where we just run and eventually you'll leave us alone, or...? Maybe. Yeah, it's like that. He wasn't as fast as the other one. Needs to work on leg day. Blue book. What? Oh. Sacrifice yourself for me, Shulk! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Well, he actually did it. I bet I can go on and beat the game without him. I'm too lazy to do that. Didn't come out this time. I guess it wasn't scripted. And there's your book, and you get a book. And now we go... We get a small key. I don't even want a small key. Just give me the golden chest and get me out of here. I understand how this works now. As soon as you hear that pounding noise, it's gonna spawn. And it's telling you to get ready. And then you see the be careful come up. And then if you sneak out before it spots you. Oh wait. It's decided to spawn as soon as I went north in the entrance. Okay. And you died more than Kenny. Alright, we managed to actually get up here without you dying, and that was really hard. Let's go, Kenny.
Hey. It seems you managed to stay alive. I came here to give you a hint. In the next corridor, you have to respect the rules. One, you can't look to the sides. Two, you can't stop. By the way, you're a whiff an interesting boy. Interesting? Ah, uh, be strong. I know there's some kind of silly twist with you. I don't trust you yet. Wait, there was a sign? Oh. Let's not lose our head over some silly sign after all. Screw the books. These books are for losers. What's the next knife be real? Oh no, that's just gonna screw the game up for me. I can't tell if that was part of the, the game, like a troll, or if it was legitimately bugged. Maybe, maybe that was part of the game, like a weird meta. Yeah, it's just a meta thing. The game is still going, it's just frozen looking. And it's trying to test me to see if I stop. It's real or is it fake error? Oh god. <laughs> it was fake. <laughs> he almost... He almost... Bojangled my jingles. He almost got me. Clever game. Yard. Straight flip went. Ain't no escaping for you. See? You're gonna spend more time with Shulk, see? A restroom. Brim ooh. So hey. We're a couple now. You wanna open this box together? Or you just get walk through it. I bet if he was dead, I could have gone in there. Every room is very literal. So, can I just like beat the game really early if he dies? Or something silly? Well, that's it. Escape the prison. First ending. Finally, I got out. I'm sorry, Kenji. I'm so sorry. Oh. What? No, no. You're thinking about that easily.